Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, as part of the Can You Believe It series, we're going to explore what space is. And so this is our first of a number of videos in this series. And the reason why, well, partially it's kind of selfish, I'm really, really interested in the concept of space and what it is. And I've been thinking about it for years and I'm trying to put all my thoughts together into a single point where I can understand, at least partially understand, what space is. Now, when we say space, we don't mean the universe. We mean, we mean well, the space between everything else, the space between stars, the, spa the space between galaxies, the space where we think there's nothing. And sometimes we call it the vacuum of space to indicate that there's nothing there. But I don't believe that's the case. I think space is something. As a matter of fact, we can say the fabric of space because space has very specific properties just like a fabric would have properties. And so by looking at each one of the properties, we may be, we may be able to figure out what space itself is. Now, space is not a complete vacuum. For example, the density is about 0.1 to 1 atoms per cubic centimeter, depending upon which research team you listen to. But let's say it's one atom per cubic centimeter. Well, in the air here on the surface of the Earth, in the atmosphere, we have 2.7 times 10 to the 19 atoms per cubic centimeter of air. So every cubic centimeter of air contains almost 10 to the 20 atoms. And so when you talk about one atom per cubic centimeter, well, that's virtually nothing, but it's still something. So it's not like when we say the vacuum of space that it's completely devoid of material, there's still a little bit of material throughout space itself. And of course, we still have radiation going through space and we still have all kinds of things floating through space like neutrinos and things like that. But if we ignore all that, what is space itself? Now, we can then say that space is something, it is not nothing. And that is what we're trying to figure out, what space actually is. Now, here's an example of a beautiful picture of a galaxy. This galaxy is what we call the Pinwheel Galaxy. It's Messier number 101. Notice it's beautiful. It has about a trillion stars. So it's like four times the number of stars that we have in our own galaxy. This galaxy is roughly about twice the diameter of our own Milky Way galaxy. So it's an enormously big galaxy. But we're talking about what's around it. And what's between the stars? Space itself. So, space has specific properties. And let's talk about some of the properties in general to get a feel of why we want to talk about what space is. For example, light moves through space but at a specific speed. We call that the speed of light. We use the little letter C for that. And that's about 300,000 kilometers per second. Well, Turns out that all electromagnetic radiation, be it radio waves, X-rays, gamma rays, infrared rays, uh, ultraviolet rays, you name it, they all travel through space at the speed of light. So there's something about space that controls the speed at which electromagnetic radiation, which includes light, travel through space. We also have gravitational waves. In other words, when we do make a disturbance in space, we have waves of in space traveling in all directions. And they also travel at the speed of light. And just a few years ago, we were actually able to measure those gravitational waves. If we place a mass in space, for example, a planet or a star or anything like that, it causes warping in space around it. And of course, when we jiggle around the planet, or when something explodes or something collides, that causes commotion within space, and that's where these gravitational waves travel outward from that enormous event. Well, we can also say that light changes direction in space, because whenever we place a mass in space, and light travels past it, it will actually change direction. It'll, it'll change according to that warping in space around it, so we have proof that it actually does that. We also have measured that time slows down in that warped space. So whenever there's a strong gravitational field, like near the surface of the Earth, time is slower there than it is in other places in space. So time does not continue forward at the same rate anywhere in space. It differs depending upon where you are. And time also slows down when you travel through space. 
the faster you travel, the slower time will go forward for the person or the thing traveling through space. And finally, space is expanding continuously and with it pulls all the galaxies apart from one another and we've been able to measure that. And again, these are the kind of properties, the kind of things that happen with space that tell us that space is something, it's not nothing. And so that's what we're going to try to determine. We're going to put all these properties of space together, we're going to explore them and we're going to try to come up with an answer that at least in part will explain what space is. If nothing else, we'll get a better understanding of those specific properties. And they're absolutely amazing. They're essentially beyond belief. So stay with us. We will make additional videos on that particular topic, what space is, and hopefully at the end of that, we'll be able to at least in part explain what space is. Can you believe it?